G'day guys, Mr. Oz Adventure here and uh, what's he doing? Holy crap, look at that, the trees just come down from the river bank, bang straight over the road. Ooh, bit of a landslide here, looks like they've dug it out and pushed it to the side. Now, well, the whole side of the hill's just fallen onto the road. Looks like it would have blocked the entire road. Wow. Oh, another landslide there. All oh, the pine trees have come down the side of the hill. So much mess. Lots of places have hard rubbish just dumped out the front like that. Yeah, all the local councils around northern New South Wales have set up free hard rubbish collection so they'll come around with big trucks and just pick up all your ruined, flood damaged belongings. Pretty sad to see everyone's personal belongings out in the street, just in big piles, ready to get thrown out. Wow, you normally can't see so much of the river through here, it's just opened it right up. All the trees are gone. You might have seen back there in a couple of spots, the road was just completely missing on one side of the road. You just got to dodge bits of missing uh, bitumen. So right here you've got Burrell Creek Road which goes through to Tyogam the back way. Captain Cranky and I rode through here a couple of years ago. Obviously there was a bridge going across the river then. Uh, at the moment there is no bridge, it was all washed away. Looks like the road has all been washed away up here. So much erosion, the river would have been right up to this level here. Have a look at that big pylon out there. That doesn't look right. I don't think that's normally there, but that's bizarre. Never seen that before. Down through the trees over there, it's pretty hard to see, but there's some of the bridge just stuck on the side of the bank. The whole bridge is gone and just washed away. It's amazing. It's just the force of all the water coming through just took out the bridge, totally destroyed it, ripped it apart. Half of it's over there. Some of it's there. There's more downstream. The power of water is amazing. So all those people on the other side that live on the other side, there's houses over there, farms. They're all just trapped, they can't get through. I think they're parking cars on either side of this and uh, taking the little boat across, pulling themselves by the, the rope there. That's gonna get them through until they're able to rebuild the bridge, whenever that may be, I guess. So much devastation everywhere around this region. It's unbelievable. Thanks. Cyclone Debbie, Debbie does damage. Quite a few landslides through this section have had to clear away. You can see in parts how it would have just covered this road completely, all the dirt that had slid down off the hill. And oh yeah, through here would have been a huge mess right across the whole road. Look at that, the barrier on that side is just completely stained red. It would have been easily knee deep to waist deep right across that whole road. That is amazing. And this is two weeks later, they've already cleaned up a lot of the mess, but there's just so much still visible. They just can't get to it all. It's going to take months and months and months to clear it all up. Wow, this is amazing coming into town this way. Oh, I'm blown away. You, you, you normally can't see through the trees to see all that much river there. But at the moment, it's just open. Look at all the debris on both sides of the road. It's just been right across this whole road coming into Yukai now and you can see the mud and debris all over the road still on both sides. People just throwing stuff out, still cleaning up after the big floods that went through here. This whole street was under. It's amazing. When you look at how far below the river is actually down there, for it to come up this high is just insane. Look at this fence. It's just ruined. Road's gone completely here now. Washed away. Oh, so much destruction. Look, the water would have been flowing out here. It's just washed the sign over. That's a bloody big sign, concreted in. Just like that one. Holy crap. Like some flood damaged cars washed up over there. Look at all the debris even on the high side of the fence over here. I mean on the high side of the road over here. It's just, it's insane to think that this whole road that I've ridden so many times before was a river. It was part of the river. Bloody hell. Look at all these flattened trees up here. Oh, it's just been knocked over. Wow. This is 
unbelievable. You normally can't see the river through all the trees. Devastation has just opened up all the undergrowth, knocked it all flat. Bloody hell. <laughs> it's just flattened all these trees and signs. Boom, boom, boom. All through there. Bloody hell. Oh, wow. The road's just missing total destruction on that corner. This fruit shop was closed for about two weeks, I think. They had to just totally rebuild it. Part of their shelves and all that are over there. Yeah, it's half the road's gone here as well. Bloody hell. It's just amazing. So much devastation. The force of the water is... I just keep saying it over and over again, I know, but... Shit. Wow, have a look at that. All the debris still on this bridge. The water would have been at my head height, easily, just coming across the top of this bridge. That is insane when you see where it is now. Mind-blowing stuff. This whole road, all through here, would have been underwater. Everything. It's just insane. It would have been just a big lake out there with a few little dots of green maybe poking up. So much debris just thrown about everywhere. Thrown out all their furniture. Just burning off all the debris that's just washed up everywhere. Have a look at that, a tarp up a tree. There's a chair in the paddock over there. Sheets just hanging on the fence. All these streets here in Mwilumba were underwater. The shopping centre there, the whole car park was underwater. Not as deep as in Lismore here. Uh, touring around with Captain Cranky this morning in Lismore was just a bit of an eye-opener to see how bad it had gotten there and how much they've actually cleaned up already. It was pretty impressive to see what they've done. But yeah, this street was underwater. You got a bit of a levee bank there, but it, it still came over that and into the town. It's crossing over the Tweed River now. You can see how far below this bridge and how far below the bank the river is now, but it did come over the top of that bank over there and straight into all those streets. So yeah, look at the level of the river down there now, and it was over the top of this road, right over into the shops over there. I did see that this bow repairs tire place here was underwater. The roller doors all smashed in, roads missing, there's some uh, ply there covering what was broken windows I guess. Lots of stuff strewn about. All these places would have been underwater in their lower levels. They built all the houses on stilts but even some of them probably were not high enough. It even came up you know, above my head on that side of the street. It's insane. My head would have been underwater right here. Just this brown mess everywhere. All the trees and grass, this is brown gunk everywhere you look. <laughs> it's just like a war zone or something. It's incredible. Look how high the debris is up there. It was well and truly over my head in this spot. Just smashed the fence. Unbelievable.